audit in depth definition spices and pegel have defined audit in depth or detailed audit as an audit which starts with books of prime entry and ends with the balance sheet the checking sequence is arranged in order of recording the transaction in the primary books teller and perry have defining auditing in depth as the examination of the system applied within a business entailing the tracing of certain transactions from their origin to their conclusion investigating at each stage the records created and their authorization it is a method according to which a few selected transactions are subjected to a thorough scrutiny in forming an opinion as regards the accuracy of the date so scrutinized meaning audit in depth does not mean 100% checking it is a detailed examination of the selected transactions from the beginning to the end thus it is used along the test checking for example if the auditor has decided to check 25% of the purchase transactions these transactions should be checked in depth auditor should check the purchase requisition tenders purchase orders purchase bills goods received note inspection note purchase journal stock registered pin card and so on thus the auditor should check the purchase transaction right from the beginning to the end such examination in depth helps in tracing back the audit trail this enables him to study and evaluate the accounting system and internal controls and decide upon further checking what when how and how much to check thus audit in depth is suitable in case of large concerns advantages it improves the accuracy of audit work it helps to prevent and detect the fraudulent manipulation of accounts it avoids boring routine audit work the auditor can employ new ideas and techniques it reduces the cost of audit it helps in preparing audit plan disadvantages it is less useful in selection of item is wrong it may lead to loss of time and extra cost if the selected items are not checked properly proper selection of transactions for conducting auditing in depth is risky if items are not properly selected it will not at all serve its purpose this technique cannot be applied to small organizations the auditor relies too much on the subjective factors he does not objectively measure the adequacy of samples